few days ago, I covered a mod called Star UI Inventory, and it's a superb user interface mod that pretty much immediately went on my must have mods list. Well, today I'm going to show you another Star UI mod called Star UI HUD, and once again, it's on my you would have to drag it out of my cold, dead hands mod list. This mod obviously overhauls the various heads up display elements that you see as you're traveling around. For example, on the item cards, it will give you an option for value per mass, which is very helpful when trying to figure out what you want to loot and what you want to leave behind. The loot menu has an option to have the item card show, so once again, you get the same benefits of being able to figure out exactly what you want to take with you. You can change the color of various elements, the position of the elements, where they appear on the screen, so you can get the item cards up in the top corner if you want. It will even get rid of the little line, the floating bubble effect, when you're activating things like talking to people or opening doors. And possibly my favorite feature of all, it actually will give you a lot more indication that you're about to steal something if it's owned by one of the NPCs nearby. Now, this mod is extremely customizable, and you can pretty much decide which of the features you want and where you want them. In fact, when you install the mod, there is a nice little installer that asks you whether or not you want to use the author's choice which comes with a lot of changes, including a complete color change, or the vanilla extended, which is probably the one I'm going to start with, which adds a fair number of features, but it keeps the vanilla look and feel, or vanilla. You can actually install this so that it looks completely like the vanilla experience, and then you can tweak it as you want. Oh, and installing it is absolutely trivially easy, just download the mod with your mod manager of choice and install. There's just, there's no special instructions needed. Customizing the mod will take a little more effort. You will need to tweak an ini file. If you're using Vortex, you can go along to where the star UI HUD is installed, right click and open in file manager. This will show you where the mod is installed. Click data, interface, and you're looking for star UI HUD default dot INI. If you cannot see the INI file here, go up to the top of your explorer, hit view, and make sure file name extensions is selected. If not, you will not see the INI. Let me just go back to that. You can open this with any text editor. I'm going to use Notepad++. And then you've got so many values you can change. But the mod author has really well documented this so you can read all the different options, change the colors, change the positions, etc. I would probably recommend trying Vanilla Extended at first, just get a feel for it, and then go in and start tweaking things to your liking. An example of how you might customize this, I'm looking at the loot list option, and there is S add columns. VPN, I could actually say add mass. I'm going to go comma space M A S S. I don't think I need the space. I just like spaces. I'm going to press control S to save. I now have the mass column whilst looking at the loot list. I mean, the possibilities are absolutely endless. It's completely up to you. Yet another absolutely superb user interface mod. Now, you might have noticed we're getting quite a lot of user interface mods at this point, and you've been a bit curious as to why. Well, a lot of it comes down to being able to mod the user interface quite a lot without requiring the official Bethesda Game Studios tools. And I think it's also fair to say that the user interface really needs modding. <laughs> so there's incentive and opportunity. In fact, I'm already working on another video about another user interface mod that looks absolutely superb and incidentally is completely compatible with this one. I'd love it if you could join me for that video or any of the other videos I'm making, but whichever video you decide to join me on, I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, remember as always, have fun. This is where we belong.